Our great God in heaven, we thank and bless you for your faithfulness in our lives. We thank you for bringing us here tonight to come and dine at your table. Lord in heaven, we bring our lives before you tonight, O oh God. We pray that all you have for us, none of us will miss it tonight in Jesus' name. Minister to our hearts, O oh God. Thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Is born 
Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life, whosoever come to him shall never die. The life, it is no longer high that liveth, but Christ alive in me. It is no longer I that live it, but Christ that live it in me. Yes, in me. Yes, in me. Yes, in me. Jesus is alive in me. It is no longer I that live it, but Christ that live it in me, yes, in me. Yes, in me, in me, in me, Jesus is alive in me, it is no longer I that live it, but Christ that live it in me, yes, in me. Christ that live in me, it is no longer I that live it, but Christ. There is nothing, there is nothing, there is nothing in my life that belongs to this world of sin. There is nothing, there is nothing, there is nothing in my life that belongs to this world of sin. In my life, God give me joy. In my heart, God give me peace. And I hope to see his face keep me pure. There is nothing, there is nothing, there is nothing in my life that belong to this world of sin. There is nothing. That belong to this world of sin. In my life, God give me joy. In my heart, God give me peace. And I hope to see his face keep me pure. There is nothing. I am running a race to meet my Redeemer. I am running a race to meet my Redeemer. Heavenly race, heavenly race, heavenly race to meet my Redeemer, meet my Redeemer. Meet my Redeemer. Heavenly race, 
Redeemer, I am running a race to meet my Redeemer. I am running a race to meet my Redeemer. Heavenly race, heavenly race, heavenly race to meet my Redeemer, meet my Redeemer. I will never compromise with sin. Though he may try me within, though he may try me without, I will never let the devil win. No, no, no. The devil win the battle. I will never compromise with sin. I will never let the devil win, no, oh, no, no. We sin. Though he may try me without. No, no, no. I will never compromise with sin, though he may try me within. Until I reach my home, until I reach my home. My journey halfway until I reach my home, until I reach my home, until I reach my home. Oh Lord, never. Hallelujah, until I reach my, until I hear well done. Until I hear well done. I will never, never stop my journey halfway. Hallelujah. Until I see my Lord. Until I see my Lord. Yes, he never, never. Keep 
keep me growing higher. Keep me shining, Lord. Keep me shining, Lord. In all I say, I'll do. That thy word may see. Christ lives in me. And learn to love him too. Keep me shining. Keep me faithful, Lord. Keep me faithful, Lord. In all I say, I'll do. That thy word may see. Christ lives in me. And learn to love him too. Keep me faithful. Keep me shining, keep me shining, Lord. In all I say, I'll do that thy word may see. Over again. Over again, Lord, I give you my soul over again and over again. I belong to you, Lord. Over again, Lord, I give you my life over again, Lord, I give you my soul. Over again and over again, I belong to you. Over again, Lord, I give you my soul. Over again and over again. I belong to you, Lord, over again. Lord, I give you my life over again. Lord, I give you my soul over again and over again. I belong to you. Jesus has set the example. Dauntless was he, young and brave. Give him your loyal devotion. Give him the best that you have. Give of your best to the master. Give him first place in your heart. Give him first place in your service. Consecrate every part. Give unto you shall be given. God, his beloved son, gave. Gratefully seeking to serve him. Give him the best that you have. Give of your best to the master, not as is worthy his love. He gave himself for your ransom, he gave up his glory above, lay down his life without murmur. You from sin's ruin to save, give him your heart's adoration, give him the best that you have. Give of your best to the master, give of the strength of your youth, Clad in salvation's full armor, join in the battle for truth.
and brave. Give him your loyal devotion. Give him the best that you own. Give up your best to the stone. Today we are going to continue with our Bible reading. But before we read, shall we just have a moment of prayer? Father, we are asking that you will open our eyes of understanding as we read your word today. We are asking that relevant passages that really speak to our present needs and problems, spiritually and physically and materially, you will impress upon our hearts. Be with us, enlighten us, instruct us, teach us as we read together now. In Jesus' name, I pray. We'll continue with the reading now. 
The Book of the Prophet Jeremiah. The Book of the Prophet Jeremiah. Chapter 28. Chapter 28. And it came to pass the same year, in the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah, king of Judah, in the fourth year and in the fifth month, that Hananiah, the son of Azer, the prophet, which was of Gibeon, spake unto me in the house of the Lord, in the presence of the priests and of all the people, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, saying, I have broken the yoke of the king of Babylon. Within two full years will I bring again into this place all the vessels of the Lord's house that Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, took away from this place and carried them to Babylon. And I will bring again to this place Jeconiah, the son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, with all the captives of Judah that went into Babylon, saith the Lord. For I will break the yoke of the king of Babylon. Then the prophet Jeremiah said unto the prophet Hananiah in the presence of the priests and in the presence of all the people that stood in the house of the Lord, even the prophet Jeremiah said, Amen. The Lord do so. The Lord perform thy words which thou hast prophesied to bring again the vessels of the Lord's house and all that is carried away captive from Babylon into this place. Nevertheless, hear thou now this word that I speak in thine ears and in the ears of all the people. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. The prophet which prophesieth of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord hath truly sent him. Then Hananiah the prophet took the yoke from off the prophet Jeremiah's neck and break it. And Hananiah spake in the presence of all the people, saying, Thus saith the Lord, Even so will I break the yoke of Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon from the neck of all nations within the space of two full years. And the prophet Jeremiah went his way. Then the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah the prophet, after that Hananiah the prophet had broken the yoke from off the neck of the prophet Jeremiah, saying, Go and tell Hananiah, saying, Thus saith the Lord, Thou hast broken the yokes of wood, but thou shalt make for them yokes of iron. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I have put a yoke of iron upon the neck of all these nations, that they may serve Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and they shall serve him. And I have given him the beasts of the field also. Then said the prophet Jeremiah unto Hananiah the prophet, Hear now, Hananiah, the Lord hath not sent thee, but thou makest this people to trust in a lie. Therefore thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will cast thee from off the face of the earth. This year thou shalt die, because thou hast taught rebellion against the Lord. So Hananiah the prophet died the same year in the seventh month. Chapter 29 Now these are the words of the letter that Jeremiah the prophet sent from Jerusalem unto the residue of the elders which were carried away captives, and to the priests and to the prophets, and to all the people whom Nebuchadnezzar had carried away captive from Jerusalem to Babylon, after that Jeconiah the king, and the queen, and the eunuchs, the princes of Judah and Jerusalem, and the carpenters and the smiths were departed from Jerusalem, by the hand of Elasa the son of Shaphan, and Gemariah the son of Hilkiah, whom Zedekiah king of Judah sent unto Babylon to Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, unto all that are carried away captives, whom I have caused to be carried away from Jerusalem unto Babylon. Build ye houses, and dwell in them, and plant gardens, and eat the fruit of them. Take ye wives, and beget sons and daughters, and take wives for your sons, and give your daughters to husbands, that they may bear sons and daughters, that ye may be increased there, and not diminished. 
and seek the peace of the city whether I have caused you to be carried away captives, and pray unto the Lord for it, for in the peace thereof shall ye have peace. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Let not your prophets and your diviners that be in the midst of you deceive you, neither hearken to your dreams which ye cause to be dreamed. For they prophesy falsely unto you in my name. I have not sent them, saith the Lord. For thus saith the Lord, that after seventy years be accomplished at Babylon, I will visit you and perform my good word toward you, in causing you to return to this place. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And ye shall seek me and find me, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. And I will be found of you, saith the Lord, and I will turn away your captivity, and I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places whither I have driven you, saith the Lord. And I will bring you again into the place whence I cause you to be carried away captive. Because ye have said, The Lord hath raised us up prophets in Babylon, know that thus saith the Lord of the king that sitteth upon the throne of David, and of all the people that dwelleth in this city, and of your brethren that are not gone forth with you into captivity. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will send upon them the sword, the famine, and the pestilence, and will make them like vile figs that cannot be eaten, they are so evil. And I will persecute them with the sword, with the famine, and with the pestilence, and will deliver them to be removed to all the kingdoms of the earth, to be a curse and an astonishment and an hissing and a reproach among all the nations whither I have driven them, because they have not hearkened to my word, saith the Lord, which I sent unto them by my servants the prophets, rising up early and sending them. But ye would not hear, saith the Lord. Hear ye therefore the word of the Lord, all ye of the captivity, whom I have sent from Jerusalem to Babylon. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, of Ahab the son of Coliah, and of Zedekiah the son of Maasiah, which prophesy a lie unto you in my name. Behold, I will deliver them into the hand of Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon, and he shall slay them before your eyes. And of them shall be taken up a curse by all the captivity of Judah which are in Babylon, saying, The Lord make thee like Zedekiah, and like Ahab, whom the king of Babylon roasted in the fire, because they have committed villainy in Israel, and have committed adultery with their neighbors' wives, and have spoken lying words in my name, which I have not commanded them, even I know and am a witness, saith the Lord. Thus shalt thou also speak to Shemaiah the Nehelamite, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, saying, Because thou hast sent letters in thy name unto all the people that are at Jerusalem, and to Zephaniah the son of Maasiah the priest, and to all the priests, saying, The Lord hath made thee priest in the stead of Jehoiada the priest, that ye should be officers in the house of the Lord. For every man that is mad, and maketh himself a prophet, that thou shouldest put him in prison, and in the stocks. Now therefore, why hast thou not reproved Jeremiah of Anathoth, which maketh himself a prophet to you? For therefore he sent unto us in Babylon, saying, This captivity is long, build ye houses, and dwell in them, and plant gardens, and eat the fruit of them. And Zephaniah the priest read this letter in the ears of Jeremiah the prophet. Then came the word of the Lord unto Jeremiah, saying, Send to all them of the captivity, saying, Thus saith the Lord concerning Shemaiah the Nehelamite, Because that Shemaiah hath prophesied unto you, and I sent him not, and he caused you to trust in a lie, therefore thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will punish Shemaiah the Nehelamite and his seed. He shall not have a man to dwell among this people, 
Neither shall he behold the good that I will do for my people, saith the Lord, because he hath taught rebellion against the Lord. You have just listened to the Bible reading, and we need to take whatever we have learned to the Lord in prayer. Will you all rise up, please? Talk to the Lord in prayer. You've seen a commandment, a warning, an example, an instruction to obey, a promise to claim. Pray for grace that you will do as you have learned in the word of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh, baby. 